U Menteri Kesorkar ubat Preston Tensong ula ong baka sorkar kala do kajna hado saus pa kandre kulur na do ka cingkang doyong ka National Green Tribunal ha kene ka jela. Ha bojubab ya ka jingkli balak wanra do u MLA ka mauplang ubat sentar kelas sun hene hapo ka yeng dorbar ubat Preston ula ong baka sorkar kala ya kun bat ka sorkar pedeng ban pelat ya ka jingsyak kang doyong hendre hado mentah ka klempat la ban pendek. Ula ong baha ka jingsya ka yeng dorbar balaya lam ka sorkar baladep. Kala dep syum ya ka rai ban pa asya ka sorkar pedeng balak pelat ya ka jingkang daw yong ha ka neka jela da ka jing penbena jong up presiden ban pelat ya ka para 12 ANB ka riti sensyar ka ri hindi na marba ka sorkar kam syum lam bodin ka neka la syu sakut kumtu. Ha ka jing si siya ula ong ba u mintri rang ba barim ula day ban yalam ya ki MLA ki mintri bandai ikindu siya u mintri rang ba do kari halor kane henry u klem yalam satia bat kane kala syu sakut. What is the effort by the state government to get the ban lifted at the earliest possible? Uh, sir, as far as this NGT ban is concerned, Right from the day the NGT has stepped in and given the order of stopping the mining of coal in the state of Meghala, the state government has taken the initiative, in fact, to plead before the NGT for lifting of this banned because it leads to the heavy loss of revenue to the state government. Sir, from, from 2014 onwards, we do have a committee, we do have a committee under the chairmanship of the Chief Secretary and again, the government has taken up even with the Ministry of Coal in Delhi, where ultimately they constituted one committee, and even our Chief Secretary is also the member of that committee under the chairmanship of the Cabinet Secretary. The Cabinet Secretary, uh, Government of India, and then the meeting was held, and the advice given by this committee is to find out a solution where the environmental and safety issues has to be taken care of as per the central laws prescribed on this issue. What is the status of the case since a resolution was already passed in this house, in this August house? I would like to get further clarification as to status of the case because as the Honorable Minister has correctly has uh, just uh, expressed his view that we will have to come up with another government uh, resolution then I would first like to ask whether or not this government can give us the exact status of the case. Sir, the status of the case as of today as I've already stated in fact, that year when we passed the resolution, I think the honourable member from Limpra, she, she must be aware, we, we were part of the government then. The decision was taken that once the resolution is passed, the leader of the House will take a delegation to the central government, meaning meeting with the Prime Minister, with the President, we have to knock the door to the central government for invoking of this, uh, of this Para 12 AB. But unfortunately, sir, that has not happened. That's why I just mentioned just now that again, if necessary, the government will bring in one more official resolution 
on this issue where both sides of the house will be also responsible jointly and again maybe we will knock the door of the central government for lifting of coal ban what is the exact status of the case with regards to the moef stand on the matter sir because i am told that that is the main hurdle and the main ha challenge for this for the lifting of this ban on coal mining may i therefore find out from the honorable minister what is the moef stand and on the matter especially no mining should be allowed without obtaining prior environmental clearances under the environment impact Assess assessment notification 2016 that was one then number two state government to carry out a pilot study of a cluster of rat hole mines in jaintia hills in the state taking them on watershed basis for treatment and ecological restoration in the background of their finding and to use the learnings from pilot for preparing comprehensive ecological restoration plan for the entire mine area the implementation available the expertise available with bsi zsi and cpcb to the state government in carrying out the pilot restoration work entire government is burning the midnight oil to get this ban lifted so that mining can take place irrespective of the degradation of the forest the rivers the water and the pollution to the environment and the destruction of flora and fauna and fish and animals and everything and the government is forming committee after committee headed by the chief secretary and senior ministers of the government and knocking on the doors of the ngt and the government of india requesting them to lift this ban isn't the importance of the environment and the people of the state more more important then the ban for a mere 416 crores i would suggest sir, and may i request this time the government to institute instead constitute a committee of expert thinkers and entrepreneurs and and uh, Our honourable chief minister himself, being a very uh, what is he, <laughs> uh, master of business administration from the most prestigious universities of the world, use their intellectual brains to find a way to earn four hundred sixteen crores in a more cleaner manner, thus saving the total environment, and poor people like us can live with a clean air. That is my submission and question, sir. Will you form that committee? As per as far as banning on coal mining in in our state is not necessarily we talking about earning point of view, but it is their livelihood too. We need to understand that it is also their livelihood, where ultimately it's just like a traditional livelihood. that they live in so the sentiment of our people is such that ultimately from the government side we need to ca carry along with all of them and not only that we would also like to plead the justification and to plead the livelihood of our people forget about earning as i said to you we don't we don't talk much about losing the revenue but i'm telling you we are concerned about the livelihood of our people in the state